you're looking at what may be the car of the future. These engineering students in Iowa State are designing a car that is solar powered. They're gearing up for the first ever race across the country, fueled only by the power of the sun. It all starts in July, with Iowa State just one out of 32 teams allowed to compete. We feel that we have a lot of engineering talent here in the state, and uh, we feel that we are, are the representative of that, and we've sort of taken that to heart, and we hope to do the state proud. The race starts in Florida and will end up in Michigan. That's more than 2,000 miles of highway to cover with no gasoline. And the challenge is really tremendous because students have to design, build, and operate a car that will drive across the country on the power of a small electric hair dryer. The students have been working on the project now for about a year. They say they still need about $50,000 to get the project done. We've had our stops and starts. Um, the project has always progressed. Um, the most difficult part has been the fundraising. This is a scale model of what the final project will look like this summer. Money-wise, that means more than $100,000 will have been invested into the project. But can this really be the solar-powered car of the future? Students working on it sure think so. Oh yes, the technology is there, it just needs to be refined, and, and the need is there for an environmentally sound vehicle. Mm -hmm. So you will see it in your lifetime? Oh, I'll see it. I'll drive one in my lifetime. Now, if the Iowa State team wins, then they'll go on to Australia for the World Championship. When it's all over, the car will return to Iowa State for more experiments and improvements. In Ames, Ron Fowler, Channel 5 News.